Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's explore the Unity Asset Store once again. So, this time we're going to take a look at some environmental assets in the Asset Store. Um, I think for environment, there is a lot to actually choose from from Unity Asset Store, and you can also mix and match different things, providing you know, they kind of match up. It's not worth matching a whole kind of medieval town with a Grand Theft Auto style city. So, let's head to the Asset Store. And the first one I'd like to look at, I'm going to look at something called Low Poly Medieval Buildings. And like I say, when it comes to environments, there is loads and loads to choose from. I mean, just searching through that right now, there's different things to choose from. Some cost, some don't. Uh, this is what I'm going to go for because this is one that is free at the moment. And obviously, feel free to check out uh, more assets by this creator. Um, so yes, we can import it, and I have it here already, way ahead of ourselves. And what I like most about this asset is basically it's a nice little mix of plenty of assets that you can use directly in your game. So you can literally drag and drop, and it's as simple as that. They are quite high quality, considering they are low poly. And the great thing about it is it even has a scene built. So I'm going to go into this scene here. Uh, let's save and changes. And if we press play, <clears throat> we can see it's not too bad. It's got everything within it. Now, don't forget, when we're dealing with these kind of assets, in this case, we can always shrink. We can always uh, increase them in size. We can do all sorts of things. And we can even retexture certain parts because the materials come with it. So, as I say, with this one, there's loads of different little assets to keep you going you can you can literally build your own town with some of these assets so this one looks a little bit big so let's decrease the size to 20 20 20 and depending on what you want to use it for it's useful like that uh we've got fences uh different types of buildings even a windmill so i can say even though it's low poly i still feel that this can be quite useful depending on what type of game you're making. And don't forget, you can also use post-processing to combine with what you have here to make it look even better. So the next one I want to move on to is something slightly similar, and it's the Mega Fantasy Props Pack. So in the Asset Store, Mega Fantasy Props Pack. And once again, uh, when we search for it, it will be the free only version which is this one here. And as I always say, if you want to take a look at what else the creator has, please go ahead, have a look. And remember, I don't get any royalties from showing off any of these assets. This is something that I've done off my own back to see what they're like. So this one in particular is this Mega Fantasy Props Pack. So I'm just going to build a new scene. Uh, yes, I'll save that one. And we can see here, plenty of prefabs to choose from. There is a lot of stuff within this pack. As you can see, even just going in these ones here, there is loads and loads and loads to see and do. And I think if we have a look, we have an example scene. So we can see here, if we go into these example scenes, if we press play, we can actually see everything pre-built. So look at the quality of this. For a free asset, this is magnificent. It's absolutely fantastic. So, for example, if we double click on this, we can see this is just how great it is. This scene is literally built. The creator has built this and just, just look at it. As I say, it's free. What, what You could do so much with this, just free assets. This could be put, for example, inside a game, your game, uh, the whole medieval thing going on. And you've got tons of assets to populate your world to make it look useful. Uh, a couple of different scenes already pre-built. <clears throat> so let's have a quick look. Press play and we can see. Uh, let's have a quick look at the camera. Uh, it's not rendering. Okay, let me quickly find the camera here. Um, it should be somewhere. So let's add our own camera. So let's go camera and let's press play. Uh, okay, so <laughs> we need to find the camera that is rendering here, and I'm not sure where it is. 
There we go. So we can see it's on the first person controller. That's not a problem. So the camera, if we go to scene view, you can see our little camera preview here. We can rotate and let's go to game view. Let's just rotate it around and have a quick look. So this is the sort of quality that we can see with this asset pack. And once again, combined with post processing, there is so much you can do with this. It honestly is simply amazing. I, I love some of these assets these creators make. They're just, they really put a lot of effort in. And yeah, they may not look fantastic to begin with, but this is the whole idea of assets. You take the assets, you modify them in the way you want it to be in your game, and as I say, combined with post-processing. So this particular pack really has loads and loads of different assets for you to play around with. I would recommend this one. Uh, if, especially if you're a beginner, you want to piece together a game just to try Unity out, I would absolutely recommend this pack. So the next one we're going to look at is something called Nature Pack Extended. So in the Asset Store, Nature Pack Extended. And once again, this one is free. Uh, it should hopefully be this one here. I like this one because, again, this is kind of similar to the last one. It gives you plenty of assets that you can play around with to work in a game and kind of build something together to get used to Unity. Yes, it's low poly. Yes, it doesn't look realistic. However, that can be used to your advantage depending on your style of game. So as I say, I've already gone ahead with this one. So let's head back to our scene view and we can see here all the different uh, assets all next to each other. I say, I like this one quite a lot. So I'm going to create a new scene. Uh, no, let's not save that one. And uh, we can piece things together quite nicely. And you can see here just how well this comes together. So we can use the ground there. We can add in some bits and pieces to make it look a bit more like a game. Uh, tree right there. And what I think is good about this one is you could, for example, create a well a side scrolling game so you could have this all the way along and you could create your background you know from this so as you're scrolling along you've got all these pieces of assets i'd say the low poly but that's not necessarily a bad thing because the low poly idea gives you a unique style in your game i mean check out this cool tree yeah sure it doesn't look quite look like a palm tree but I like the idea of the low poly of it. It gives that unique style. So I'm gonna bring the main camera uh, closer to the actual scene. Let's bring it this way and this way. Upper touch and let's bring it closer and down a bit to there. So already you can see, maybe if you have the side scrolling thing going on, you can see the side scrolling world appearing there. So that could be useful for that. And as I say, there's tons and tons and tons of different assets within this package. Again, that's why I like it. I like packages where the creators actually put the time and effort in, even the free ones like this, because you will find some asset packages that do have, uh, they are paid for, but they do have a free version full of cool little things. So the last one we're going to look at this one is a low poly street pack. So asset store. And let's go to low poly street pack. So this one is kind of aimed at, um, how can I put it? A city kind of. So we can see here on this one, and again, if you want to check out the uh, creator's other assets, please feel free to. Uh, I already have this one brought in, which is, um, let me find it here. And prefabs, we have the foliage, trees, bushes so you don't necessarily have to use this one just for the street so let's not save you could use this the assets in this one as quite literally maybe a, a well i suppose an rpg style terrain it just depends what type of thing you want to create so if i take this split them aside let's have a look at the camera bring the camera closer so you can see how they look. They don't look too bad, in all honesty. Uh, again, we have different things. So we have a tree. Using your initiative there, creating something bigger, something better. And if we have a look at the other prefabs, we have the roads. So we have all these here. 
road marks, pavement or sidewalk or whatever you call it, wherever you're from, you can see. Nice little asset brought in there. Uh, parking, yep, so we can see how well this is coming together. So you could literally piece these things together bit by bit to create the style of game you want. So if you want to create a city style game, you could piece this bit together bit by bit. Uh, again, there's plenty, plenty of prefabs you can use here. So we have lamps, even comes with the lights attached to give that extra little use. <laughs> uh, tons of things you can add in. Fire hydrant right there. Uh, fuse box. Again, just the, the amount of assets that can be used here is staggering. I, th I think it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, just in these four groups of assets that we've seen in this little episode, you can literally create about three different games from combining everything here. Obviously with your own ideas, your own story, because you don't want to get into realms of asset flipping. But just because you're using these assets doesn't mean to say you're asset flipping. I think the whole idea of using these assets is to help you along in development, especially for beginners who maybe aren't quite sure what to do, struggle with what they're doing. But as we can see here, bringing this in, it looks absolutely fantastic. And I would recommend the all four of these asset packs to everybody. Hey, that's why I'm doing this video, right? So if you fancy having a look at any of these asset packs, please do. I'll leave links in the uh, description below. Um, if you're a creator of any of these assets, please get in touch. Let me know because I would like to give you my personal thank you. And guys, I will see you in the next episode where I think we'll have a look at maybe some NPCs. Because I think there's quite a few of them which we can use in an RPG or some style game. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching.